Hi, we are using both Git and GitHub together in our company. Git commit is just to save our changes to the local repository, but not to the remote one. Git push is used to send and upload our only committed changes with the content from local repository to the remote one. And I use Git in it when I want to start a new empty repository or reinitialize an existing one. I use git checkout from switching from one branch to another one to work in a different branch. Git status gives us all the necessary information about the current branch, like whether it is updated, pushed or pulled, created, modified or deleted. I use git add in order to add any new or modified files before running the git commit. So git add just marks the changes to be included in the next commit. What about git branch? It helps us create isolated development environments within a single repository by creating, listing, and deleting the branches. For deleting the local branch, we just use git branch with the lowercase d or we use uppercase d in order to force deleting it. For deleting a remote branch, we must use git push. So we can easily understand that local and remote branches need to be deleted separately. And also, we need to switch to another branch just before deleting the branch we want to delete, we can say. I use git log to provide me exploring the previous revisions and also history for a repository. Git pull is used to fetch and also merge the changes from the remote repository to the local repository. And git update will apply the changes to the same branch. Now, let's talk about two types of merge conflicts. The first one happens when competing changes are made to the same line of a file. And second one is, let's say, when one person edits a file and then another person deletes the same file. We can only resolve the first merge conflict, but we can also solve or, let's say, resolve the second type of merge conflict on the command line. Then. Let me explain the necessary actions step by step about the first type. Step one is we click pull request. Secondly, we click the pull request with a merge conflict. And then we click resolve conflicts command. As a third step, we need to decide about which changes we want to keep. And finally, once we are done with all the conflicts, respectively, first we click mark as resolved and then we click Commit, uh, commit merge respectively. Thank you.